time to sing the calendar song We start with days of the week, so sing along Sunday, Monday, what comes next? Tuesday, Wednesday, you know the rest Thursday and Friday is nearly the end Until Saturday, start of the weekend Yeah! Now we know all of our days of the week What about all the months of the year? There's 12 of them, so sing along with me! In January and February we're starting the year March and April, spring is here Now it is May and June and we're having fun July and August we're soaking up the sun Autumn breeze in September and October too November, remember thankfulness and December, the year is through. Go check the calendar and you can say what month it is and the day. It's calendar time. Today is Monday, September 6, 2021. Today is a holiday. Today is Labor Day. Labor Day is a national holiday to celebrate laborers or workers. Many people have the day off of work or school. You might see a lot of government buildings closed today. Do you know what yesterday was? The day before today? Yes, yesterday was Sunday, September 5th, 2021. What about tomorrow? What will tomorrow be? Tomorrow will be Tuesday, September 7th, 2021. Let's count down from today, down from six. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's count up from six together. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Today's number is the number six. Let's make six tally marks. One, two, three, four. When we get to five, we make a slash across the other four. That helps us remember that that is a group of five. Four, we already have four tallies. Five, the slash across, six, six tallies. Now, let's draw six of something. Hmm, let's draw six bears. We're going to put our six bears in our tens frame. Remember, a tens frame is an easy way to see how many you have of something. Let's count out six bears. One, two, three, four, five. The top row is full. Now we need to go down. Six, six bears. Did you notice that with our tally marks, we have a group of five and then one extra and then on our tens chart, it's kind of the same. We have a line of five and one extra. We can look at that and quickly tell that we have six when we group the fives together like that. Six. Today's number is six. It's the sixth day of September. Now, let's make six cents with change. We could use pennies like we did last week. 
pennies are worth? One cent. Let's count out pennies to make six cents. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six pennies. Six cents. Is there another way that we could make six cents? Remember when we did our tally marks or our tens frame? We did a group of five and one extra. We can do that with coins too, because we have a coin that's worth five. That coin is called a nickel. So we could make our group of five first and then do one extra with a penny. One nickel, five cents and our one extra with a penny. Five, six, two ways to make six cents. What's the weather like where you are? Well, our weather today is rainy and I like to get rain, even though it may not be as fun to play outside on a rainy day. Rain helps the plants and the trees grow, and that makes me happy. Let's add rain to our pictograph today. I'm drawing a rain cloud above rainy. This is our first rainy day that we've had so far together during calendar time for the months of August, September, October, and November. It's time to add to our doodle bug. It's the seventh day of calendar time. Number seven. Let's count up to seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do you want to count by twos with me? Let's do it. Two, four, six. Great counting. Now it's time to add another straw. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven straws all by themselves, seven straws grouped in groups of one. Still, we have zero groups of 10 and zero groups of 100. We've had seven days of calendar time together. Let's look and see what happened today in history. In 1666, the Great Fire of London burned much of the city, including 13,200 homes, 87 parish churches, 52 livery company halls, the Guild Hall, the Royal Exchange, and St. Paul's Cathedral. On September 6, after four days of burning, it was finally extinguished. This was a terrible tragedy but it also brought a blessing. It destroyed the streets where the Great Plague was and boiled and sterilized the diseased river fleet. Sometimes terrible things happen. The London fire was a terrible tragedy. Many homes and lives were lost. It was very sad. Sometimes sad things happen to us too. And sometimes those sad things can't be avoided. We have no control over them. The only choice we have is to be optimistic, to look at the good that can come out even when the bad happens. Optimistic means to look at the positive side. Look at the good even in a bad situation. The London fire was a terrible tragedy, 
but something good did come out of it. There was less disease after the London fire because a lot of the dirty, diseased areas of the city were burnt up and sterilized. Even a river that was full of trash and filth was cleaned out by the fire. Today, Monday, September 6, 2021, I'm going to give you a challenge to be optimistic, even if some things don't go your way, even if something terrible happens today. Look on the bright side, be optimistic, and see what you can be happy about, even if a bad thing is happening. Go check the calendar and you can say what month it is and the day.